What's in my camera bag 2024? Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today we're going over what's in my camera bag. Right here is my current camera bag for 2024. I do change the bag out, which I'll show you in a little bit. It is not a dedicated camera bag, but it is one that I use for it. So it is Mystery Ranch, and it's a Mystery Ranch Carryology collaboration. This is, I think, Codename Pegasus, AKA the Unicorn 2.0. If you know what it is, you know what it is. So let's get into this. Now, the reason that I like this is I do enjoy the tri zip style, which allows you to get into your main compartment through the top or through the middle. But before we get there, let's start with the top. Of course, you got here a little Velcro, right? Put your favorite patches up there. On top, I have a hero clip. This is, I believe, the medium size. Uh, it allows you to just hang your bag if you need to. So in the brain pocket, right? I'm just gonna have a few little things that I may need to get to here and there. In here, I have an air duster, notebook, write down your thoughts, little things that you need to do here and there, lens cloth, and then I do have a light that is attached. You never know when you'll need that. In the smaller pocket, because I wear glasses, I have a contact case. Here is a lighter assortment pens and a sharpie a super basic first aid kit and then i keep little hydration packets in here and that's pretty much what i keep up in here it's just little things that you may need to get to but you don't need to get to them all the time i leave a little extra space because depending on what you're carrying you might need it now with this mystery range bag something that i like is that it has side pockets and they're enclosed. Now with some of my other bags, they have a pocket on either side, stuff a water bottle, tripod in here. I like having this sleek design, especially in urban environments. It allows you to keep everything contained. Let's start on this side. In here, I have the Polar Pro filters for the DJI Osmos Pocket 3. And that's all I have in this side right now. On this side, I have a small tripod. So this is the Mantis Pro, I believe. Very helpful, it's a short one. It's set it up, uh, it does come with an attachment. So if you wanna use your phone for filming, you have that right in there. Next thing I keep on the side are the batteries for the current camera that I'm using. This is the Nomadic Peter McKinnon collaboration one. And I just keep a full set. There's actually one dead one in there currently. That's pretty much all that I keep in here. I use the side pockets kind of stuff. Again, something that I want to bring with me that maybe is an otter shape that you might need to grab, but might not need to. But again, it's in there and it's accessible. Now, one thing with this mystery ranch bag, you'll see it on two other ones that I switch it out for, is down here. So what this pack has is this beaver tail that's enclosed in the bottom. I usually keep it wrapped up because I don't use this all the time. But for me, because it doesn't have side pockets or a dedicated like tripod pocket, because this is not a dedicated camera bag, I'll go ahead and stick my tripod in there. I went ahead and I added these Velcro here to the Molly, and those are by PS Patch Design. And for anything that I'm talking about here, I'll leave a link below if you're interested into them. These just allow you to put on more patches because who doesn't have enough badges, right? Again, this is gonna have that tri-zip design where you can open it from the top or you can open it from the middle. Now, let's go into the main pocket. They have a mesh netting so you can see what's in the top pocket again, just those little accessories. First thing I have in here is my mic, which I'm currently using. Now these, I'll leave either in the top just like that or on the sides but I do bring this with me wherever I go because having great audio is crucial. So this is the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 and I'll either keep it in this case or actually I'll walk around with this. Um, this is the case to it, which I'm currently filming on it. So pretend it's in there. I'll walk around with this just in my pocket or in one of my smaller bags. And if you're interested in seeing all these accessories, these are what comes in the creator combo. And go check out my unboxing of the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 and you'll see everything that's in there. Now, in here, 
This is the Low Pro Creator Combo. I think it's the XXL. Now this is what I mean about, this is my camera bag, but it's not a dedicated camera bag. This here provides all the protection that I need and I'm able to just grab this and throw it in whichever bag I'm currently using. Let me go ahead and take this out. Actually, before we go into that, in the bottom of this bag, I keep a trauma kit. I sometimes, with a, if I have the molly out, I'll go ahead and attach that to that directly. But I think this is something that everyone should carry. You have a tourniquet, a bunch of uh, gauze, uh, stuff to stuff the wound, stop the bleeding. I think if you are out doing anything adventurous or even just out on a daily basis, this is something that you should carry, especially in these crazy times. If you aren't trained, go get the training. It's well worth it. I've even found free classes that will go over the basics. Definitely pick up a set if you don't have it. They do come in different sizes. So this is another one that I built. It's a tourniquet, a bunch of uh, stop the bleed stuff in there. And for like my other bag, which I'll mention in just a little bit, I stuff this just right down in the side pocket. Or again, you know, you can clip it to the molly and beaver tail. Before I move it completely to the side, right? There is one thing on here that I haven't mentioned. And that is this. This is the Peak Design Capture Clip. I believe this is the version three, might be the version two. If you do any running gun photography, or even if you're out and just doing street photography, I highly recommend these. I've used these on-road, off-road, just walking around the city. They're great to have. And again, using the base, I use that base this tribe quad so easy quick disconnect definitely pick this up if you haven't it's well worth it all right this is my bag that holds the camera in here i have a few extra little allen keys i'll also keep things like microfibers or lens cloths in here so the way that this works is most of the time in my bag i'll actually keep this like this where it's open and that way you can just go in, grab your camera, shoot, and put it back when you need it. For this though, I'm gonna use this. This is my Canon 5D Mark II and I'm substituting this for this camera which I'm currently shooting on, which is my R6. So just pretend this is my R6 right now. So this right here is my main camera. It is a Canon R6 and this has been my main camera for a while. Now this is perfect for photography and pretty good for video. Uh, if you're doing anything long or in the heat, like when I worked in Louisiana, I did overheat from time to time. So just make note of that. And on here is my 24 to 70 f 2.8. Now this is my walk around lens and pretty much lives on my camera. Unless I need something specific, it's my main lens that I go to. Now, if we open this further, I don't have it in here right now because I have been using it is I would keep my Peak Designs camera strap. I just roll it up, stuff it right in there. Here I have two filters. This one is a two to five stop variable neutral density filter. And this one is a circular polarizer. They're both by Polar Pro. This is a step up ring so that I can use the filters on both my lenses that I usually carry. Um, again, this will depend on what you're currently carrying and what you need, but primarily I'll carry my 24 to 70, which I'm shooting on, and then I will carry this. This is my wide angle lens, it is my 16 to 35. Don't use it too often, but I do keep it on hand because it does come in handy. This is the AEF model, so I do have the adapter on there. Again, microfiber, you never know when you'll need them. I use them to kind of divide things. And here, I just have caps and I have a UV filter. Now this kit will kind of evolve depending on what I need with me. So if I wanna go with a lighter setup, something instead of bringing that huge case with me, if I'm only bringing one camera and that one lens, and I know that I'll go with something like this. This right here is a camera wrap. These are great because you can stick these in smaller bags. And again, if you're only carrying one camera, great, still add some protection. What I do is I'll go ahead and make that bottom pocket, close it up, And there you go. And then if you wanna sit it in your bag, you can always keep that top one up so that you can go in, grab your camera, put it back in and close it. This is a larger one because originally I was using this again 
with my R6, which I am cheating on. So originally I was using this with my R6, which is a little bit bigger, but just using my Fuji as an example, because for a while I have been using this for this, the Fujifilm X100V, and for a while I would just put this into my sling bag and then put this into the camera wrap, give it a little extra protection, but I've kind of moved away from that. This is what I was talking about, which it depends on what you want. If I want something lighter, I'm gonna go with this. This is another Mr. Uran's Karyology collaboration. This is the Spartan. This bag used to be my EDC and it's for my lighter setups. This will fit that creator combo, but if I want something super lightweight, I'll go ahead and use that camera wrap with a single lens and body and stick that in here. And then you have a little bit more room to stick whatever else you need in here. And again, it has a top pocket, which I would load out very similar to what I did for the other bag. Now saying that, if I need something a little bit bigger, Again, another Mystery Rants Curiology collaboration bag. This is the No Escape, AKA the Dragon, the biggest out of the three that I own. And again, you have those side pockets, the tripod fits in there great, or water bottle. This one does have that beaver tail too. In here, I can fit that creator box with those little extras. And then in the top, I have a lot more room if I need to bring uh, an extra jacket or something and stuff that in there. This will fit pretty much everything I need. This was actually my travel bag for a very long time and still is when I need to go with a heavier load. Last thing that I'll mention that's in my kit, I don't use this too often, I need to use it more, is my drought. So in here, we have the controller, the Mini Pro 3, and of course, you have the extra battery. That is what is in my camera bag in 2024. As you can tell, I like the modularity of going from bag to bag, depending if I need more gear or less gear. Let me know if you have any questions about what's in my bag. If you are only looking at any of these pieces of gear, I will leave the affiliate links below. So I do receive a small commission if you do use those links and there is no extra cost for you, but that does help contribute to the channel. And if you do use them, thank you very much. I appreciate all your support. If you have any questions or comments in general, let me know in the comments below, and as always, I'll see you next time.